So have you been asking yourself lately if you should quit your job? Well, quitting your job is not a decision that you want to take lightly. However, if you're thinking that, then it might not be out of the question, right? But you wanna make sure you have all the facts before you make this decision. So let's get into this video. Hey everyone, this is Bola. I'm the founder and CEO of Clever Girl Finance. I'm also the author of the Clever Girl Finance book series and my most recent book, Choosing to Prosper. Welcome to Clever Girl Finance TV. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the best reasons you may want to leave your job and what to consider before you make the decision to actually quit your job. So there are many reasons why you may feel like you want to quit your job. And here are some of the most common reasons. Number one, you work in a toxic environment. So there might be a lot of conflict at work. You may be feeling anxiety. You may have a difficult boss. You may have um, coworkers who are trying to tarnish your reputation at work. You may be feeling depressed at work. A toxic environment can make you feel like you want to quit your job. Number two, no growth. So you may be in a position where it is just impossible to advance. There is no growth opportunity for you and you are feeling like you have reached your cap at this company and it's time to move on. Number three, another reason why you may want to quit your job is because there is no support. Maybe your boss is not supportive, your department is not supportive, your coworkers are not supportive, and you're feeling isolated uh, when you do your work or you feel like every time you try to make progress, you're hitting a roadblock and you just feel like, you know what, I need to quit this job. Number four, you may also want to quit your job because you want to switch fields. You want to work in a different industry or a different niche or a different space, and that is perfectly fine as well. However, switching fields could mean that you need to update your credentials or go back to school and get a updated degree or certification, but it's okay to think about wanting to switch fields as a reason to quit your job. Number five, a lack of passion. So maybe you're just no longer interested in the career choice that you chose anymore. You don't feel excited to go to work. You find it boring. You find it maybe even overwhelming, but you're just not passionate about what you do. Or you could also find that you're lacking passion because you just don't fit into the culture at your place of work. Or it could be that you just don't like your company's, uh, your company's leadership style. These are all reasons why you may have a lack of passion. And then number six, you may want to quit your job because you want to go back to school. You want to get certification, another degree. You may want to switch career paths like I mentioned but wanting to go back to school is a reason that you may feel like you want to quit your job and then finally to relocate so you may be moving to another city another state another country and that is a reason why you, why you may need to leave your job so those are reasons why you may want to leave however before you actually say I quit before you give me your resignation there are some factors I need you to consider first by the way if you're enjoying this video i'd love for you to subscribe to this channel hit the like button below tell your best girlfriends about clever girl finance stop by our website at clevergirlfinance.com and check out our 30 plus free courses our blog gets updated every single day we have thousands of articles on all kinds of financial and life topics and we have an awesome podcast called the clever girls no podcast hosted by me that you can find everywhere you listen to your podcast episodes okay let's get back to this video so before you say i quit i want to consider these things Things, right before you decide to write that resignation letter send that email to your boss here are a few things that you need to consider number one get clear on why you want to quit why do you want to quit you really want to be clear on this is it something that has been is it because of something that has been going on a long-term position for example a toxic environment or do you want to quit because you're looking for or you have found a better opportunity you really want to get clear on that reason if it's because of something that's going on temporarily or because of an issue that you know can be addressed by having a conversation with your boss and that may not be a valid enough reason to quit your job we are not all happy at our jobs every single day i own my own business and i'm not happy in my business every single day so sometimes that short-term annoyance that temporary inconvenience or annoyance might make us feel like you know what i'm quitting this today but you want to put it into perspective so ask yourself why do i want to quit my job and make sure that you are really comfortable with the reasons why. Then you also want to consider, do you already have another job offer? Sometimes things can get tough at work. Uh, you may want to 
quit as quickly as possible, but you want to make sure that you have your backup plan, that you have something in place to fall back on. For example, another job. So do you have another job offer? If you don't have another job offer, you may want to wait so that you can keep your finances steady before you quit. Alternatively, you want to ask yourself, do you have enough backup funds to be out of work for an extended period of time, right? This can help you put that question. Should I quit my job into perspective? And so even though you don't have another offer and you want to quit your job, you may, it may make sense for you to stay there just for the short term until you find a new job or until you can bulk up your bank account to a point where you feel comfortable leaving that job financially. And that leads to my next question you want to ask yourself is, are you financially stable? This means that you need to be able to pay your bills, put food on the table, um, and you know, just be able to live life even if you are not currently employed for a short period of time. So really objectively looking at your finances, can you pay those bills if you leave this job right now without another offer? Um, can you meet your financial obligations? Can you still invest? Can you still save? Like these are things you want to think about. Do you have a side hustle that's going to keep you going or a part-time job that's going to keep you going? Really ask yourself, how do I feel about my financial stability given that I want to quit this job? And then you also want to consider, do you have dependents? If there are people that rely on your income, this means that you have extended expenses, not just for yourself, but for your household. And so you want to factor them into the decision as to whether or not you quit your job, especially before you get another job. And then you also want to think about benefits. What about your benefits? Things like health insurance, disability insurance, these all come at a cost. And a lot of times, if your employer is the one that offers you health insurance, after you quit the job, your, your health benefits expire after 30 days or so. And so you really want to factor in what is the cost of those benefits that you have from your employer and can you cover them on your own while you are out of work before you find a new one. And this is really important if you or a dependent rely on your benefits. You also want to really be objective with your next employer if you quit this job and ensure that they offer you the same or better benefits. And then can you renegotiate with your employer? That's another question you want to ask yourself. Sometimes the issue you're facing at work could be something you could have a conversation about that could be solved by talking to your boss. It could be maybe you're working with someone that's just making your life difficult and you need to raise it with your boss and your boss might be like, you know, what I actually am aware of this. Let's come up with a solution. It's all about having that conversation. You may feel that, you know what, I'm not being paid well. I bring so much value to this position, but I'm not getting paid well. Before you hand in your notice, tell your boss, hey, listen, I am thinking of looking for another job because I'm undercompensated here. Can I get a raise? You never know. You might get that raise. You might get that bonus, but simply uh, by simply having the conversation. So think about if you can, if you love the job that you do, you love your employer, but someone is making it difficult or you want to get paid more, have the conversation to see if a solution can be brought to the table before you just go all out and quit. And so let's say you need time off just because you want to work on your mental health, your emotional health, and you need a break from work. You want to ask yourself, can I take a sabbatical, sabbatical from work? Can I leave my job for mental health reasons? Are you going to be okay if you take time away from work without having another job offer without looking for another job, uh, but you just want to focus on your mental health. Sometimes we all need that break. We need a couple weeks or even a few months to just get ourselves back together um, before we go back to working full time. Sometimes people need that. And so you want to ask yourself if you're in a position to leave your job to take a break because of your mental health. Are you going to have the right support you need? Are you going to be able to cover any health expenses? For example, if you go to see a therapist uh, or anything like that. So ask yourself this question. And then if you do want to take a break from work, what do you need to do to make sure that you are in that financial place where it's okay to walk away from your job so that you can take a break and work on your mental health? And I will say that there is no shame in wanting to take a break time away, whether it's a few days or a few weeks from work to work on your mental health. And there's also no shame in seeking help and support to help you get through a challenging period of mental health. And there are many things that can contribute to someone's mental health, including the loss of a loved one. So it's really important that um, you take the time for yourself if you're able to, but you make sure that you are doing it objectively. So before you quit your job, right, these are the things I want you to consider. And I mentioned sometimes it is valid to feel like you need to quit your job. But again, you want to think about it objectively, especially from a financial perspective, because you want to be able to live life even if you don't have that job. So this means either getting another job, right, a, a new job offer or even a part time job or having funds in the bank to 
to carry you through. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you have found it helpful. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, tell all your best girlfriends about Clever Girl Finance and stop by our website at clevergirlfinance.com. We have a ton of free content. We have over 30 plus free courses. Our website is updated every single day. We have over 40 plus completely free worksheets and also check out the Clever Girls No Podcast hosted by me, where you can, which you can find everywhere you listen to your podcast episodes. Thank you so much for being here and I will talk to you next time.